was very awe-inspiring when you saw him. He was monumental, grand in nature. His face was like a moon on Laylatul Badr that had a light coming out of it like the moon on Laylatul Badr. He was taller than a, a moderate build, but not exceedingly tall. But he was of a middle stature inclining towards heights because everything about him was middle. Everything, even his physical description, his color was a middle color. He wasn't pasty white and he wasn't black. He was a color like the, what we call the harvest moon. And his hair was neither straight nor curly. It was wavy, it was middle. Everything about him was middle. He didn't speak slow and he didn't speak fast. He speaked in a moderate tone. His words were neither too short nor were they excessive, but they were always just right. When he spoke, people felt as if exactly the right amount of words were used. Everything about him was moderation. He had a full head and his, his hair was wavy. If he parted it, then it parted. It never went past the lobes of his ears if he allowed it to go long because sometimes he would cut it for ibadah like the umrah or the hajj when he shaved but when he let it it went to the lobes of his ears and in some riwayah just above the shoulder he had a large forehead which in physiognomy traditionally was an indication of high quality and then his eyebrows they were full and there was a slight space between them and then he had a vein on his forehead that if he got upset, they could see the vein, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The upper part of his nose was aquiline. So he had a beautiful nose that had a, like a bridging on the upper part. And his eyes were very dark. Sahl al khaddain He had a high, beautiful cheek. He had a, a mouth that was full so that when he spoke, he was, his pronunciation was perfect. His teeth were beautiful. There was slight space in the teeth. He had a light hair on his chest. His neck was like a gazelle's neck. He had a beautiful neck and a high neck. It had like a, a beautiful, like a silvery clarity to it. He was balanced in all of his outward aspects. Badinan, he had a strong build, mutamasikan, and it was all perfectly formed. His stomach and his chest were equal. He never had a large stomach. He had no punch. Even when he was in his uh, 60s, his stomach was always flat. Sallallahu alayhi wa He was full chested and ba'id ma bayn al mankibain. His shoulders were broad and he had a large bone. Also his trachea where it met there, there was space. And then he had a light hair also on his stomach. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ariyatadyain, he had no hair over his breast. He had hair on his arms and some on his shoulders and the upper part of his chest. And he was, had large full hands and full palms and his feet were arched and he was sinewy and strong limbs were strong and he had full calves but his feet were so smooth that water would pour off sallallahu alaihi wasallam and then when he walked he walked softly quick paced as if he was walking on an incline when he looked to somebody he didn't just turn like this he moved his entire body sallallahu alaihi wasallam to give full attention to that person He looked more at the ground than he did uh, up. His, his glance was generally down because of the power of his glance. And then uh, most of his looking was mulahawa. When he looked at people, he didn't maintain his stare. He would look and then move away. So as he looked at people, he never fixed his focus on people uh, because uh, of, of the effect that that would have on the people. He was always grief-stricken. What that means is that if you looked at him, like if you saw him in the mosque, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you saw him in the mosque and you looked at him, 
you would think that he was grief stricken because the istighraq, his presence with his Lord was so intense that his face would have a sense of being completely absorbed in thought. He smiled. He always looked at people and smiled and made them feel joyful. He never made people feel depressed. He laughed at things that they laughed at. And Aisha said, كَانَ مَزَّحًا فِي الْبَيْتِ He was always joking with us in the house. I joke, but I never tell a lie in my jokes. Always I speak the truth. A man came to me and said, Ya Rasulullah, a'ilni jamalak. 